I feel like no matter how old you are or where you went to school, um, everybody had at least one kid that smelled like piss. We've talked about this, though. There was a lot of other kids, though. We only talk about the pissy kid. Why? What about the nose picker kid? The kid that picked his nose and would rub it on shit? The bloody nose kid? The kid who always had a bloody ass nose and shit? There was that teeth kid. Did anybody else have the teeth kid? All kids got fucked up teeth, but there was that one kid whose teeth were just out of out for business. That's coming from me. My teeth look like they's caught in the matrix. Just what about the always itching his underarms kid? I ain't like that kid. What about the 64 box of crayons kid? That fucking Tyler? Fucking Tyler? Why your crayon box got a pencil sharpener on it? My crayons don't even got the crayon top no more. They just nubs. I got crayon nubs. The always untied shoes ass kid. I was the I was the always being disruptive for no damn reason ass kid. And the loud ass kid. The make the substitute teacher cry on accident ass kid. That was that was me. What about that kid that always had the thermos ass kid? The kid with the thermos? The allergic kid? The kid that was allergic to everything? That one kid that was too fat for clothes somehow? You know what I'm talking about? Like his family wasn't like destitute or nothing, but none of his shit fit. Like you could always see his belly button, but he was also good at sports. Ass kid. I'm just saying, there was a lot of different types of kids. We need to give them some respect instead of just always blaming it on the pissy ass kid. Motherfucker did smell like pesto.